Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at guidelines for access control list creation. We'll be discussing the limited number of access control lists per interface, access control list best practices, and then finally, we'll look at some of the guidelines for access control list creation. This episode is part of my series on enterprise networking, security, and automation. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. There are a limited number of access controllers you can put on per interface. So each interface has a limit on access control list. That limit happens to be four on a dual stacked router. And once again, what we mean by dual stacked is you're running IP version four and you're running IP version six on that router. Each interface, if you're running IP version four and IP version stack in a dual stacked environment on your router, you can have up to four ACLs. And how we can get those is there's two IP version four ones, there's two IP version six ones. And for each one of IP version four and IP version six, there can be one outbound and one inbound. Right here, we have our IP version four outbound. So that's one. Then we have our inbound IP version four. That's two. And that's located on just this interface. And then if you're running IP version six, you can have an inbound one and an outbound one. That gives you a total of four access controllers you can have on that interface. If you have another interface that's going off to a different direction, you can have four more access control lists here. Now, once again, four is only if you're running dual stack. If you're only running IP version four, you can't hit, you can't put these IP version six addresses on there because they won't recognize the commands because you're not running IP version six. If you're only running IP version four or IP version six, the maximum you can have is two access control lists, one inbound, one outbound per interface. Just because you can have two access control lists per interface in IP version four and another two in IP version six, doesn't mean you have to have all of those access lists applied. In some situations, you may not have any access control lists on an interface. You want all the traffic to flow freely across that interface on your network. You may just be concerned about inbound traffic. If this is your edge router connected to the internet, you probably want to stop Telnet from coming into your company. And so you just have an inbound connect or inbound ACL coming in. You don't have to have an outbound one there. You can configure IP version four and not IP version six. If you have a dual stack environment. Now the number of ACLs in their direction that are applied to an interface, that's going to depend upon the security policy of your organization. There are several best practices when it comes to access control lists. The first one here, base access control lists on the organizational security policy. We want to look at your security policy for your organization and then base your ACLs on that. If it says that only HR people should have access to the HR server, build an access control list that says that. You may have to put all those HR people in their special own subnet, and then that subnet only has access to the HR server, but you can build that and make sure you do it to the security policy of your organization. Now, on a side note, if your company doesn't have a security policy, time for you to create one. Sit down with the rest of your IT department, sit down with management, Figure out what you want for a security policy. The next best practice is to write out what you want your ACL to do. Write it out. We we only want HR people to have access to the HR statement. It, it Write it out in story form probably works because it's easier to understand and non-IT people like management, they can understand what you're trying to do. So once you have this all written out, and like I said, probably in story form, go ahead and create and edit your ACLs. A lot of times what people do, use a text editor, go ahead, type that up in there. And that way you can check and make sure that what you typed up for your access control entries matches what the security policy is for your um, company. Add in remarks. 
because after time, you're gonna forget what you were trying to do with each one of those access control entries. The remark command here is a great thing to use when you're creating your access control entries. Yeah, you may remember the day you're creating it, maybe two days after you're creating it, but six months later, after you worked on a hundred different projects, you're gonna have problems remembering what that one access control entry did. And that remark is gonna help you. And then the last thing you need to do is make sure you test your ACLs. Test them, make sure they work, make sure they do what they are supposed to do. Now, the recommendation is test it on your developmental network before implementing it. Sometimes that's not possible. Sometimes you don't have a budget to have a test environment to go ahead and apply these. If I didn't have a test environment, what I would do is at least get one or two devices. Hopefully you have an extra one or an older one set up to the best testing you can. But then what I would do is come in on the weekend and put those ACLs in. And then I would test on the live network. And of course, before you do that, make sure you have a backup of all your configs so you can easily roll back to them if something isn't working. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on guidelines for access control list creation. If you like this episode and you get value out of it, and of course, depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com, and you can get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on enterprise networking, security, and automation. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on enterprise networking, security, and automation. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.